Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a Grand Cherokee um, Overland Edition. So, Overland is the top spec model you can get with uh, Jeep as a brand. Um, if anyone wants to correct me, put that in the comments below, but yep, pretty sure it is. You get all the extras, parking sensors, pan roof, uh, reverse camera, power tailgate, electric seats, all the usual. So this particular one is got adaptive cruise. Uh, general condition's actually pretty good. Not a huge amount wrong with the, the bodywork on this. Slight sort of bubbling there. Leave that as is for someone to see. Front bumper's in really good condition. Tires are like new. Wheels are immaculate and unmarked. Just had them refurbished. Uh, full service history. I think it's all main dealer as well, actually. And it was done uh, very, very recently. It was done in June or July 2020. Lovely colour. thing with the Jeeps is, I think, value for money. Uh, a lot of times they get overlooked. People look at things like Q5s, Q7s, things like that. But uh, with the Jeeps, just get big spec. The Overland badge. Power tailgate. So this, this particular one has the rubber mat floor as well, which is really good. Rather that get dirty than the sort of carpet. Parcel shelf, and there's the close button. So little mark there, which will all get this. This will all be done, looking like like new again. Little marks here and here on the rubber trim. Again, replacements are on order. I would like to show them as they is. Interior, again, for a family vehicle. I think this has covered just about 74,000 miles. Really nicely kept. So you get the slightly upgraded leather as well on the Overland. Got heated rear seats as well. Pan roof, which is absolutely amazing. You get keyless entry, keyless go, and you get the embossed uh, seats as well with the embroidery. 74,500 miles, there you go. Quite low mileage for age and type of vehicle that it is. So you get the memory pack as well. Let's take it around the other side. Really well kept leather actually, and I've said it once, but when you see family vehicles, they tend to be a little bit more sort of worn because they're carrying the kids, the dogs, the aunts, the uncles. Pan roof from this angle. Pan roof is fully operational as well. So it opens up and you've got a blind as well. So if you want to have it a bit shadier, So a push button start. So this one's got all things like the object. Uh, so if you get close, someone's coming close to you, it'll detect an object. You've got the um, little uh, orange triangle there, which tells you things like, um, you know, if, uh, what do you call it? If someone's coming close to you on your on your sides. So reverse camera and the mirrors dip. I don't know if you could hear that. There's your camera. Yes, it's got nav. Yes, it's the 2013 age, so it's not going to be modern. Uh, which is the, that's the roof button. So you can have the roof. Hello. Where's the sun gone? Beautiful weather we had. Now it's all gone. So you can have that. And then you can actually have a half double blind as well, which I'll show you in a second. So if you push it once, it closes the blind for the kids so that they can't see. Oh push it all the way but when it opens you can have it halfway or fully open or fully closed obviously you've got all these uh, buttons here if you're going off-roading I don't know if you are not many people do but the options are there air suspension for different level settings as well usual cruise uh, adaptive cruise as well give a little ref for you watched it here but yeah 
it's all there. Okay, all right, well, um, all the usual will be information will be in the description below. If you have any questions, please do just ask. And thank you for watching. Wheels are off for refurbishment. They've not been stolen. Thanks, bye.